With your weather authority, here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, we've been seeing that humidity increase across parts of East Texas. That's been working its way in towards parts of the Concho Valley as well. And again, that humidity setting up could actually bring some very isolated rain chances for the weekend as we see our next frontal system going to make its way in towards our area. Otherwise, fairly quiet as we go in towards the evening time frame. We did see a few passing high clouds throughout the area. Kind of saw them on the cactus cam as well. Again, seeing some of those high level clouds again didn't affect our temperatures all that well. Again, we saw temperatures warming up into the 70s for much of the area. Upper 70s, even a couple of low 80s, shy of any records, but certainly well above average for this time of year. 75 right now in downtown San Angelo and looking at some of those alto cumulus clouds passing across the area again moving in from a little west but the winds still on the breezy side out of the southwest at 13 miles per hour we're going to expect those winds to calm down as we go in towards the evening time frame dropped down into the 30s last night warmed up fairly nicely again just shy of the 80 degree mark for those afternoon highs but much just a couple spots did reach that 80 degree mark, especially in towards the northern parts. Ballinger did hit 80 for a quick moment. Now and back down into the upper 70s and 70s across much of the Concho Valley as we kind of look at our current temperatures. Winds though, those are going to start to kind of calm down. We saw some of those gustier conditions earlier in the day. They're going to continue to decrease now into the teens. Still seeing a couple gusts into the 20s further south out towards Mason Junction and Menard. Still seeing some of those breezier conditions, but like I said, over the next hour or two, we'll start to see those winds really begin to settle back down into the single digits and into the teens for much of the area. So calmer conditions will be a little bit warmer, only dropping down into the 40s for us overnight tonight, 47 for that overnight low. Those southwesterly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we kind of go in towards tomorrow, a little bit cooler. We'll see kind of a little push of a cold front make its way in towards our area. We'll see those winds turn more out of the northwest. It's going to allow for those cooler temperatures. It's not going to be that breezy, 5 to 10 miles per hour, but we will see that increased cloud coverage. And with that increased cloud, that moisture, we could see some very isolated rain chances in towards the southeastern parts of the Concho Valley. Otherwise, tonight we will see temp or not temperatures, rather, but it's going to be some comfortable temperatures if you are headed out to kind of maybe take a look at the full moon. Again, this is the wolf moon, the name for the full moon in the month of January. And that is due to the wolves' activity for this time. Also, Called the center moon. That's usually because of the, uh, the location. It's usually in the middle of the cold season. Another one is the hard moon, as because fallen snow into the northern parts of the country uh, would usually freeze even harder towards the uh, later parts of the winter season. Our next full moon will be on February 5th. So again, a kind of a great opportunity. Can I get out there? We did see mostly clear skies last night. We'll probably see it for tonight as well. So it should be some excellent opportunities to kind of see it. We really won't see that cloud coverage really start to build it. Build in until Saturday. That's when we'll see the increased chances in rain very late on Saturday, early on Sunday. Again, most of us will just be seeing the increased cloud coverage as well as the cooler temperatures as we cool back down into the 60s and a little bit closer to average. Again, our average for this time of year is 60 degrees for those afternoon highs. So again, we'll see the moisture kind of push or you see the front push in, then the moisture kind of creeps in from the south. So we could be seeing some very isolated showers later in the time frame for Saturday, early on Sunday as this moisture moves across the area and again we will see those passing clouds and then start to clear out as we get in towards late Sunday going in towards the beginning of your work week so again we'll see 60s for the weekend we'll warm up fairly nicely back into the 70s as we head in towards next week still staying uh, well above average before we keep our eyes on our next cold front making its arrival for next Thursday